So I bought these. I'm going to attempt to put them on right now. The emblems. That's pretty cool. It's got the back one. Steering wheel one. I don't know if I'm gonna put the steering wheel one, but I'll check it out. So here, what I did, I just put the pry tool here in the middle, and, I, and it broke off. But I already took it off. But it broke off the holes right there. The new one has holes too. It has like some pins in it. So I don't know if I want to take off the pins or what. Okay. Yeah, you gotta break out the pins because the pins don't line up. Just break them off with some pliers. And then just stick it on. We'll see how that goes, you know. So I just centered it. That's good. So now I'm gonna do the back one. I put vinyl inside here. So I'm gonna take out the vinyl once I take out the envelope. And then I'm gonna put this new one here. This one's gonna look good. This one's easy, just stick it on. It. See how that goes. Put one in there and I put the other one over here. It's already loose. Come back and pull it off. That's it. I broke it. But I can always replace it if I want to go back to the originals. Just have to buy another emblem. <laughs> Alright, so I put the back one. Looks good. JVM style. On the emblem. I like the fact that it's black on the inside. That's why I did it. Um, Cause that's the way they have the other emblem with vinyl on the inside. So it looks the same. Just that this one has it's more smooth on the outside. Yeah, like clear on top. It's like more 3D. Yeah, that's good. Thanks for watching. So I got this little one for the front steering wheel, but I don't know if I'm gonna put it. I think this one just goes on top. That one looks the same as that one. But I'm gonna put it on anyway. If I don't like it, I'll just take it off. All right, done. If you guys like the way these look, I'll put the link in the description so you can purchase them. See you later.